What is going on guys? If you follow the channel, then you know that I have been super busy with projects, hydropower, just doing everything. I also just got a job, so that makes it a little bit harder, but luckily for you guys, I got COVID. I think I'm okay now. I just tested negative this morning, but I tried getting a video yesterday of doing a, ro a 3D printed rocket sled in the snow because we had some really crappy weather for once and we finally got snow. Unfortunately, the rockets didn't fire and something just wasn't working with it. So, wasn't able to do that. But today, well, the snow is melting, it's a little bit warmer, and I'm willing to freeze for you guys because you guys have been posting great recommendations, the channel's been getting attention. So I wanna shout you guys out and say thank you for the likes, comments, subscriptions. It really means a lot. It's what makes me, motivates me to come outside in the snow and test on the garden hose. So today, while I do have a lot of other projects that I'm refining and just working on, you guys wanted to see a 3D printed Pelton, or sorry, so used to saying that. This is a Tesla turbine, so it has smooth blades in there, and they're kind of wobbly from the print. They're on the shaft, the shaft's a little bent, but you can see it does spin with limited resistance. I got a little adapter for the hose, because we got hella hose here, so yeah, we're gonna put this on. It's probably gonna leak everywhere because there's absolutely no sealant. These screws are kind of mis mix matched like a German engineer built this. So yeah, I'm gonna go through. I decided to film my backyard just so you guys can see the snow and well, I don't know, I can get dripped on by the rain. So let's head over to the front, connect it to the hose and let's see, were you guys right? I, I also bought an RPM gauge, so for future tests, we'll be able to see the RPM that everything is producing, and we'll be able to go from there. So if I would need to make gears or change things around, we'll know the RPM and we'll be able to calculate better. So without, any, without further ado, let's head over there. For this test, this one is going to be just RPM measurement, and we're just gonna hook it up, verify, see where the leaks are, because I know there's going to be leaks, and we're just gonna go from there. Today is not gonna be a motor test, even though I'm going through all this work to set it up, but I just wanna see if this works and how bad it leaks because I it's not bolted or anything on the bottom. You can see through it, you can actually. So it's probably not looking great. But let's hook it up and find out. All right, I got everything hooked up. So this is gonna be uh, test one. Found this handy dandy piece of locust to hold this down, but it is, I did turn it on just a quick sec just to see how bad it's gonna leak for the camera. But I think it will be okay if I get it Right about here. All right, as you guys can see, it's actually, it's not leaking quite as bad as I would have guessed it to. But it is leaking out of the shaft, which is uh, not great. I might have to work on that a bit. And then it's leaking all around the edges here. Which is, oh, sorry. It's leaking all around the edges right there. So I'll have to work on that and try and mitigate this leak. But that's actually not as bad as I thought. And you can see it is working because you can see it's spiraling here and then there. I don't know if I'll be able to get the reading on the speed with that, but let's see how much That actually takes a lot to stop. Huh. Hope I showed that on the camera all the way, but... It doesn't... Oh. Oh, no. No, no. Come back. Come back, little strip. Oh, I don't know if these are waterproof. Maybe it has something to do with that the bearing's not even in there anymore, so that could be hurting the RPM. I figured out the problem. For the first time in my life, my shaft is too big, so... I'm gonna have to make a smaller shaft and figure that out because both the bearings can't seat happily on it. It's hard to tell, but they're sticking out a little bit on each side. So I'm gonna have to make what I think is either a smaller shaft or a bigger housing, and the shaft's the easier part to print. So I'll just modify that a little bit um, to get all the discs on there and let it spin. So now I'm gonna hook it back up. Hopefully the sticker will stay on long enough just to get a, a quick little test. I might, I'm actually gonna try and stuff the sticker under the part, I probably should have done that, under the bearing. So I'm gonna do that and we'll get one final test. So I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna slowly crank it up this time. Maybe it won't push that bearing out. Let's see, so far I still see the sticker on there. All right. Oh, a little bit of air going in. 
I can see the water just pouring over the front. It's hard hard to see. Oh, and now the water's shooting out the bearing. It's really good for it. All right, I'm just gonna turn it up all the way and let's see what happens. Oh, something it just got stuck because now it looks like a geyser. You can see. Well, at least I can figure out where all the leaks are. So pretty much I'd say uh, everywhere. Oh, the bearing got blown out the back too. Can we All right, so I wasn't able to show it, but I got just about a thousand RPMs out of it. And I, I don't know how accurate this one is. It's from Amazon, it's the cheapest one they had. People have said they're all right, so I bought it. It was the first one with the uh, one day shipping, but I think what I'm gonna try, just cause it worked in the other ones, I'm gonna flip the um, Tesla turbine on its side. So this way it allows all the water to drain out and I want to try and get a sticker back on and do another test to verify that it, if it goes faster, but I'm just going to go with the visual. I'm going to turn it on, I'm going to pick it up, turn it on its side, and we're going to see how it does. And that's, that's me in this video. And all, as always, if you guys have any other suggestions, please let me know and I will make sure to give them a try. I mean, it doesn't help that the bearings are blown out, so I'll probably start there. And here, I'll show you guys this. And you can see here, when it's working, it doesn't leak as bad. A little hard to see here, but you can see the turbine is cranking. It does not like to be stopped. Like, it takes a lot to hold this back. It really does. And it goes right back up to speed. So I actually have a little bit more faith in this design than originally I thought. Oh, wrong way. Oh, the camera's soaked. I'm soaked. Oh, poor life decisions were made. Oh, everything's going bad. Oh my god. Oh, the bear. Oh god. Oh. I'm just one bearing. I'm gonna try it. Let's see. Hopefully, it won't turn into a uh, fountain again. That was horrible. I'm All right, everything's a little bit drier. Except for me. The camera's a little bit drier. This video is getting longer than I thought. Let's try. Hopefully, this won't end as poorly as it did. I doubt it. Oh. Did you guys enjoy that ceiling pick? All right, let's see. I don't think it's any faster. I'm just a lot more soaked. So, I mean, it doesn't seem like either bearing is in. But uh, yeah, this was a pretty good test. This piece of firewood's probably not gonna do very well now. But if you guys have any suggestions, any ideas, please feel free to let me know because Clearly, I'm in desperate need of some help. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see. I'll try and get the test done. Hopefully weather will permit because there still is snow on the ground. My fluff is wet and I'm very upset. So hit the like, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Peace out, guys.